Hi there, welcome to our travel vlog in Okinawa. In this video, we're gonna show you the place we stay in Okinawa and also take you along with us to the amazing remote island called Naganudo. After arriving in Naha, we headed to the place we stay in, which is called the Wires Hotel. And in front of it is this beautiful little beach that is enclosed and safe for swimming. As soon as we stepped into our hotel room, we were shocked by how big and spacious the place was. It's got a queen-size bed, two twin beds, a full-size kitchen, a dining area, a living room, and separated shower and toilet. The bathroom was stocked with a lot of toiletry items a two-in-one dryer and washer, fresh towels, and a pretty good-sized bathroom with a um, bathtub and a pretty big shower area. And it's pretty insane that we have a massage chair in a hotel room in Japan. And in the living room area, you have the TV, got this huge size cabinet that stores all the cups, bowls, and plates. And look at this full-size refrigerator. This was a total surprise because I didn't expect that we would have such huge size refrigerator in a hotel room in Japan. This kitchen area is so spacious and sleek, something that I totally didn't expect. And it's got microwave, water boiler, and a giant sink. And underneath it, all the utensils. And a small dishwasher. And some pots and pans. And a electric stove. And look at the view! Next to the kitchen is a really big balcony and the beach is right there behind the palm trees. And here's something that's pretty cool. Next to each bed on the headboard, there's a charging station and there's one for every bed. So we can charge all of the devices all at the same time. And it's also got this um, cabinet to store your clothes and a little safe. This place is just so spacious, so comfy, so clean, that just feels like home. And for around 100 US dollars per night, what else can you expect? I highly, highly recommend this place. And I'll put the link below. About 3 to 5 minutes walk from the Wires Hotel, there's this supermarket called Eon. And we decided to grab some breakfast and snacks. It is pretty crazy if you look at the prices for the fruits. They're so insanely expensive. And look at how cheap the sushis were. This was incredible. Like, sushis were way cheaper than the fruits here in Naha. And the sushis are super fresh. Yummy! The desserts were pretty good as well, but nothing beats the sushi, period. 
And one food you gotta try while you're in Naha is the traditional Okinawa soba. I really like the texture of the noodles and the bluff. The food portions are really big and yummy. The next day, we were super excited to embark on our day trip to a remote island called Naganu. Naganu Island is probably one of the closest islands to Naha, and it only takes about 20 minutes to get there by speedboat. I'll put more information in the description below in terms of the logistics because this is a very popular island and the number of ferries to the island is very limited. So definitely reserve online as soon as possible. So it was a cloudy day when we arrived wow. at Nagano Island. And look at how beautiful the watercolor was. And I couldn't imagine how much more turquoise and vibrant the color is gonna be if it was a bright and sunny day. Since we took the first boat of the day, there were only about 20 people on board. So when we got there, it felt like we had the island to ourselves. These beach umbrellas and chairs are all free on a first come first serve basis. And look at how crystal clear the water was. The water was a little bit cold in the morning, so we didn't actually go snorkeling. It was so calm and relaxed to walk along the beach on this beautiful island. Included in the ferry ticket is a small curry rice lunch play. You can also pay more and upgrade to a barbecue lunch set. After spending a good amount of time in Nagano Island, we're back in Naha and try out the famous blue seal ice cream and this ramen place. The ramen was really good and they even printed a message and the logo on the seaweed that says, thank you so much for coming. How cute is that? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And then in the next video, we're gonna show you another very popular remote island called Tokashiki. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to support us making more travel vlogs on beautiful destinations. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.